What is up, heroes? This is Minator, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, the very first episode, well, we we wandered quite a bit around this this town. However, we did also do some neat things. We got to see some really wacky camera angles and some good classic PlayStation 1 horror. And in this episode, we're hopefully going to find our way a little bit. I do want to make a special shout out to um, Virgilus Gaming for the tips from the previous episode. Um, I really appreciate them. Again, I'm not looking for any spoilers. Anything that'll set expectations for future parts of the game will reveal any plot points. Um, will reveal will reveal any events that happen. But if something is going to strictly improve the gameplay experience, um, and it seems there's room to do so, uh, I would definitely appreciate that. And as you can see, we've already done quite <laughs> quite a bit of exploration to no avail. Um, I was told that there are a couple more things I should look, aim to find. Back where we looked at the to, to school um, note or picture that we had seen, and then I did look up a spoilerless walkthrough uh, just to have some sort of a direction. I understand that wandering around the misty town of Silent Hill might be part of the experience as intended by the developers, however I don't have the time nor do I find that to be you know the most enjoyable aspect. So having some sort of direction, an idea of where to go or what to do after having already explored or exhausted most of my options and without wasting time, I think, I think that's something reasonable to do and I hope you guys understand. So before we do anything else, how, how do I check on my, my health again? Because it does not seem to be doing so hot. And the flashlight is off, right? Yeah, okay. Um, the pocket radio is on. Do I have... To school is written. Do we have... We have a first aid kit, but I don't necessarily want to use that. Okay. Well, it's good to know that that's what we're working with at the moment. As we saw on the map, we're up here. The first thing I want to do is go back to the to school area. Or actually, I should probably go and save. Because that would be a, a good thing to do. Generally speaking. I doubt that saving actually like restores our health or anything like that, but it may. So let's make sure we're going the right way. Okay. There's a chance, so I'm willing to take it. Have we already passed it or? No, it's right here, right? To the door, come on. I also want to thank those of you that commented about your hype for the series. And yeah, no, I have not played any bit of this series. I've heard the best things about Silent Hill 2, and we'll get there eventually. Don't worry. But um, this is, you know, the, the OG, right? <laughs> this is the original. So I do want to take the time to go through this and see, you know, where the, sto where the story started. It does not look like we healed up at all. And it's not like they were replenishing the items. Although, is that a healing drink or health drink on the on the table? Nah, it doesn't look like it's something we can interact with, unfortunately. Okay. Something that was commented before um, was to really inspect all the different things I come across, uh, which is which is important because I'd kind of given up on that a little bit. If you guys saw from the previous episode, that it looked like it was. Uh, most of the things in the background weren't necessarily relevant. The few things I did try to interact with weren't too fruitful. So I hadn't really, I don't know, gotten the idea that it would be the most useful, well, use of my time to actually go around and explore things. I was also told that noting the camera is going to be really important. So like for example, let's see if we can go in here. Probably not. Nope. And now I'm gonna die? Question mark? No. I'm surprised I didn't die. Pretty low on health. Um, but the camera will a lot of times show me different things. Like, I don't know if this is something I can interact with or not, but regardless, I'm kind of in danger right now, so I think that'll take precedence for the time being. But yeah, the camera should, or probably will, um, turn to things that might be important. So I was told to go back to the area where there was the lost, or the to school sign that I picked up. And while I'm there, I might find something that'll be more useful 
for melee going forward. So I think that is something I want to do. Um, because the knife, well, you guys saw, um, I was not the most skilled with, to say the least. Is there anything else maybe in these barrels? I'm really not sure exactly. I'm still trying to figure out what are the typical types of items I can really interact with here, right? So I can go through here. And we've got to be... I keep hitting triangle for the menu. <laughs> we've got to be really low on HP. I mean, either way... What's this? Is this something around the corner? Is this stick something I can use? Oh, it's a steel pipe! Okay, that seems a lot more helpful. Can I do anything with this paper on the ground? Sketchbook cover. This picture. It's me. Huh? The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave on her fifth birthday. Okay. So, for the time being, um, I will definitely equip the steel pipe. I feel like it's going to have quite a bit more range. Three foot long steel pipe. Long range, but of limited use. But of limited use? What's that supposed to mean? Let's see here. How about that sound effect, am I right? I think the whole point is that it's supposed to be like... I don't know, I um... It, it's kind of slow, and it might not do like a ton of damage, but it's got a lot longer reach, and its arc of attack is a lot more useful than the knife's kind of little, very pointed attack range. I love that when we run, and all of a sudden it's like we run into a pole or something like that. He just comes to a complete stop. All right, let's see if we can make it out of here. And then we're going to head back up towards the, the... Oh, did I just die? I totally just died. No! Game over. Well, there's, there's a first. Harry's more likely to shoot an enemy when it's close. Draw the enemy into... Increase accuracy in the long run this way. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Um, so, I wonder what happens... Wow, that is loud. If I continue, will it restore my HP? Yes, no, maybe. Or am I just going to be... Oh, man. That's, that's not so hot. Okay, well... What that makes me think is that I, I should probably use the first aid kit just because I'm like really only one or two hits away from dying. I don't want to have to use this, but yeah, I mean, that'll put us back at full health and now we can head back over <laughs> to get the steel pipe again. Sorry to drag you guys through this, but yeah, I was going to say the conveni, but <laughs> it's really the, the convenience store. Um, that's what the the little walkthrough is saying to do. That there are, you know, some keys I need to be keeping an eye out for in this area. And some items I need to, or some, like, set pieces I need to interact with. In order to unlock some buildings, some ways to actually get down to that school. Because otherwise, it might be a lot of wandering around. So obviously we're coming up on some enemies. I wonder if they take more note of us if we're running. Like, is there a stealth option in this game? You know? I'm also glad we came back here so that we could at least see the, the sketchbook, right? <laughs> there he is, walking into or running into a wall again. <laughs> That'll never get old. But yeah, I, I apologize if this does take a while, or if this does get frustrating, it's just kind of the nature of the game. Okay, and then we've got the steel pipe. Alright, so let's equip that. Again, I don't really plan on fighting in this early part of the game. I feel like we're not very well equipped to either heal ourselves up, I don't know if the enemies come back or not, I would bet that they do. Which means it's really, I would only be fighting them and risking taking probably more damage than I would be just trying to run past them. Which, you know, I'm just starting to get used to the tank controls a bit more. He says as he runs into a wall pretty much every few screens. Oh, darn it. 
it got me. Surprised me right off the bat. Can I get a can I get a camera angle change? I can hardly see what I'm running into. Please? Okay. So we took two hits there. Um, so we're at lime green, greenish yellow. And so now we're going to head up towards that convenience store. And it's a good thing we used the first aid kit, because otherwise I would have probably died there. So what I was hearing is, you know, there are a couple different houses that aren't story related, but I still might be able to interact with. Maybe even like some of the cars, for example, would be things that I can interact with. Maybe the mailbox, I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll see. Am I getting close to the convenience store? I think so. Yeah, it's coming up just a little bit. So we'll keep on running. Um, what's going on with the camera here? I feel like... Oh my! Run! Run! Or... Oh, it's on the ground! Attack! Am I attacking it? Did I hit it? I don't know, but that thing was like on the ground. Can I go in the convenience store? Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I swear I came in here already. Or did I not? Or did I just not fully explore it? Oh, here's, is this, ah, that's a health drink. Much appreciated. What's this on the ground? Is that something I can interact with? Are these bottles things I can interact with? Generally, the things I interact with seem to stand out a bit more. Can I go over this way? No? Okay. That's fine. I, I didn't need, even need to go over there anyways. Okay, so here's another health drink. And another one. So we're stocking up. That's actually very much appreciated. And then what do we have over here? It looks like on the left... We can save, and is this a first aid kit? It is, okay. So now we've got a decent amount of health, we've got three health drinks, and we've got a first aid kit. So we'll save, double save just to be safe. I know Lizzie's not, well, most of you probably know who Lizzie is, but I know Lizzie's not watching this, because <laughs> she's not one for horror, but she's totally the person that double saves every single time. Um, okay, then it looks like we've explored, I think, this area to, it's fullest. Is there something behind the, the register? No. What's this over here on the counter? Is this something of interest? No. Doesn't seem so. At least. Okay. Then we'll head on out. Um, the other thing I was going to say is this... What's it called? I was supposed to head east on Finney. I think that's what the walkthrough was telling me. And that thing is just waiting there for me. So I believe that's this way. Can I go in this way? Nope. There's something going on here. I don't know where. There's a monster, I'm sure. What's this on the ground? Is that something? No? How about this house? Where are these monsters? Okay, I was gonna say. I can't see you. Oh, dang. Alright, let's take a look at the map real quick and make sure we're at least going in the right direction. So it says go east on Finney, and there should be a trunk. So I'll, I'll keep an eye out, obviously. Is it hidden in like the corner somewhere or something? Is that, oh, that's a fire hydrant, not a dog. That's good to know, not a zombie dog. Something I can do over on this side of things by this fence? No, probably not. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. Eh, it's looking less and less likely. Okay. What about here? Oh, there's something. There is a key of lion. Take it. I didn't really see that in the trunk. I saw more so whatever's on the ground there, but we'll take that and whatever this is. Handgun bullets. Nice. Some ammo. Okay, so that's the first thing I needed to do. And now, as I'm starting to see what some of these items look like, what types of things are popping out from the background, 
um, that I can interact with, that'll obviously inform my ability to find these things going forward. So the next was um, an alley underneath the convenience store. So I was hoping to head back to the convenience store and see what's going on. I think it was like just south of it. I don't know. I wasn't sure if it was under it or just south of it, but it's looking like there's an alley that's south of it. Am I going the right way? I really wish just because it's kind of a hassle to open the menu and close the menu every single time that there was like a map in you know the corner of the screen or something. It could just be a, you know, a result of the hardware available and everything. Um, but I feel like it's a nice feature. I mean, maybe it was intentionally left out for the sake of, can we go through here? Oh, we can. Interesting. Okay. Well, anything of interest back here? Maybe? What's this? A dog's head? What? Yikes, there's a key of Woodman. Okay. And a health drink. There's a door there and a basketball hoop. There's a dog's head. Oh, that's sad. Can I go through this door? No, okay. How about, is there anything else? Can I go through this door then? No, okay. So then the question is, is there anything else? It looks like what I was told is that this is, uh, I think this is what it was being referred to in, in the walkthrough. And again, I don't want you guys to feel like I'm just gonna be adhering to a walkthrough the entirety of the time. I just don't wanna waste waste time wandering forever without any sort of direction. So I, I guess if it's not your thing at all, or if this is already bothering you, um, I don't anticipate this you know, being the dominant style of the Let's Play, but, but it's all right. I get that everyone has their own um, preferences. So now, I'm supposed to go south on Elroy. Okay, so we can head out and I, I know this is technically south. I'm more curious as to if there's anything else in this alleyway. And it's looking like there's maybe just another monster. But no, like, ammo or anything like that, unfortunately. Okay, so if I turn left, I should be heading towards Elroy. And then I'm going to head south. Just to make sure... Actually, no, I've, I've walked this area before. And it was continuous up until a certain point. Okay, this is obviously the part where it got blocked off. Is that something? Oh, I can walk on that. Can I pick up the items, please, and then not be trapped here where that enemy is just waiting for me? Okay, so we picked up the key of Scarecrow. What is up there? Is this a health drink? Game? I was like, don't freeze on me, please. So we picked up a health drink. Can I go in here? Oh, no, I, I can't, but that uh, that monster is right after me. Ooh, that camera angle right from the monster. Why is that flying so fast? Is it like rubber banding or something? Or does it have like major speed when it's like about to attack or something? Do you guys see how fast that thing was flying after me? Okay, so now it says I'm supposed to go west on Matheson. Um, and I should find something. However, I think what's actually going to be the smarter move is when I cross the or get to the next intersection is to turn right and go back to the cafe to save. Just because we've made so much progress. We really have, actually. Oh, interesting. So I don't think there's anything 
up with this car. But notice how when I walk by here, the camera starts shifting like that. Right? And I don't know if it's because of the enemy. I don't, I don't think so. But it was pretty interesting to see that as I ran by here... Did I get attacked? Or did I just run into the wall? Can I do something here? Can I go in this garage? No? Is it just adjusting because I'm getting close to the cafe again? I'm not sure. But I could definitely feel the camera pulling me in that direction. That's something I'm going to need to keep an eye out for going forward. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our health. We were at a sort of lime green before, and now we are not lime green. Not lime green at all. We are red. The question is, do I use a health drink or not? Or are there any points where I'm going to automatically heal up, right? I know that in games, there are certain checkpoints or whatnot where you progress, and then all of a sudden you're back at full health. I'm really hoping that those points exist in this game. But if not, I mean, I guess I'll explore a bit and see if I really should be using health drinks at this point or if I can hold out until there's more of a point where my health will actually be restored. Okay, so save that progress. Pretty happy about that. And now we'll head right on Matheson Street. Can I go in here? No? The camera was pulling me this way again. But it seems... Seems like that's not an option. How about here? Is this an alleyway I can do anything with, or... No? Well, I guess I'll keep heading this way then and, and see what I find. Per the guide, I'm supposed to go this way until I run into some papers? But the thing is, I, as you guys can see from the map, I've already headed this way. Did I just run past them? Like, I've already explored this, this dead end in the past. Did I just miss them? Oh, I must have just ran past them or something. Interesting. So this is Doghouse, Levin Street. Maybe... Maybe I should write this down. Um, I think I'll I think I'll do that. But what's interesting is like this is kind of conditioning me, right? Training me to see like, oh, how how intensely do I really need to inspect each area I explore, right? Before I can write it off my list. So doghouse, Levin Street. Okay. And what does this paper say? Can I not? Can I not interact with these papers? Just only the other ones? I'm, I'm hitting X a multitude of times. Okay. Well then, I believe that's what we came here for. So, let's take a look. Um, Levin Street is where? Okay, so that should be to our left soon, right? Like right here. So I believe now I'm on Levin Street. Man, this map <sighs> takes a lot of time to pull up this map. And I'm going to be looking for a doghouse. I imagine... Oh, there's the doghouse. Also, there's an enemy. I pulled up the map instead of the menu again. I definitely need a health drink. There are two of them now. I have five health drinks and I have a first aid kit. Alright, we'll use one of them. Right, a little bit of a more... Oh, man. Okay. So, I've identified where the doghouse is. I think what I want to do is let that calm down a little bit. And then we'll go back across. I should be directly across from it. Yeah, so there it is. Let's take a look. What do we find? House key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it. I love... Can I just comment on, like, take a look at this picture. This is so well done. Look at, like, the, the chipped away wood, the worn down doghouse, the, the key very discreetly 
hidden within the the doghouse, and then obviously like the blood or the red paint or both. Um, it, it's I really appreciate when, especially in some of these older games, they take the effort to make a really detailed picture when you do zoom in on something or whatnot. Okay, so we have the the house key. The question is, where's the house? My, um... Oh, you know what? Duh, it's probably the key to the house um, where we found the doghouse, right? It's probably that particular house um, that I just ran away from. So we'll, we'll head back this way. Was it on the other side of the street? Seems so. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, across the street we go. Oh man, I almost just got swooped and swiped. Okay. So let's take a look. Where is that doghouse? There it is. Let's see if we can go in the house. We can. I was like, wait a minute, but where does this house key go? I'm like, duh, they hid the house key for the house in the doghouse. So in we go. We're inside the house. What's going on in the house? What is this? A first aid kit? All right, we'll take it. You know, when the game gives you a relatively decent healing item at the beginning of like a segment or something like that, it makes you that much more nervous for continuing to explore it. It's so quiet. It's locked. For what it's worth as well, guys, the, the papers on Matheson Street is the farthest I got when that in that spoilerless walkthrough. So I'm I'm all blind in here. Oh, we can save! Thank goodness. <laughs> Wait, file one doghouse? <laughs> we ain't in no doghouse. Handgun bullets, nice. So we, we've got probably 30, 40 handgun bullets now? How many do we have? 115? What? Since when did we get 115 bullets? That's a lot of bullets. I'm still, still gonna conserve them. Until I feel like I really need to fight something. Nothing special. Okay. Don't know what it is, but it certainly ain't special. <laughs> is this a TV set? The power must be out. It doesn't work. That's right. All the telephones, all the communications, etc. Um, anything? What, what's this on the table? Is this just a plate? Or what? Looks like it. Can I look out the window? That would be a very, like, horror game thing to do, right? You, like, look out the window and it zooms in and all of a sudden something, like, scary shows up. Okay, then I guess we'll head into the kitchen. Anything of interest on the stove? Is this a health drink? It is. So we'll take that. Anything in the fridge? What do we got for dinner? The refrigerator is empty. Dang. Looks like we're, we're starving tonight. So it looks like I can go out the back as well. Um, before I do that, eh, is there anything in this little like cupboard? No. Well, if there is, it's not useful. Okay, then we'll save again and uh, and continue onwards. Head out into the backyard. Use the key of line. The zoom in, the image of the door is so menacing. Oh. Okay, so I guess the walkthrough was speeding things up a little bit where I would normally probably find the doghouse, get inside the house, get to this door, see three locks, and then probably need to run around the map and find these different keys. Honestly, I'm pretty glad that I didn't have to find the house and then run all over the place looking for all three of these keys without any hints. I don't know. I guess maybe there were hints that I simply didn't know. Um, they were the key of King, Woodman, and Lion? Or no, Scarecrow. Um, or King of Lion, Woodman, and Scarecrow. Yeah, I don't know if there would have been hints for around where to find these keys. I, I don't think so, actually. So that, that would have been a long time. That would have been something I referred to the guide for anyway. So that's okay. It's unlocked. Do we go through it? 
Let's take a look at the billboard first. Oh, something is written on the map hanging on the wall. Keys for Eclipse. Okay, so it tells you that it's, oh, so they say like far east on, on Finney in that alleyway and then down there by Elroy. Okay, so this is really important. The, the guide it is good to know that there are, it is spoilerless and it is, you know, helpful, but at the same time, it is definitely more speed focused and it is going to anticipate things along the way before we're even given the chance to find them. That's kind of frustrating because something like this, that's, that's, I'm, I'm okay with this, right? I'm told keys for Eclipse and now I leave the house and I have a very set, I could probably take a picture of this on my phone, um, you know, resource I can reference and find these types of things rather than just wander aimlessly, which is what it felt like at the very beginning. So that's something worth noting going forward, but copied it to the map too. Even better, I wasn't, I didn't think that they would do that, but wow. So, this map is getting marked up quite a bit, <laughs> but oh, and look at where we are. So it looks like if we go out the backyard, we'll be in an alleyway and then we can head down to the elementary school. Whoa, cutscene. What? It's getting dark again. Uh-oh. Awfully menacing. Do I need to hit X here? What's going on? We've got the flashlight at least. Dang. This is so much scarier. Listen to this m soundtrack, guys. Listen to this music in the background. Can I pick up some of these health drinks? Thank you. Now this, this is the real deal. I also really appreciate that in the dark, with the light on, there's so much more contrast rather than the very grayed out city during the mist, right? Look, look at how much vi more vibrant the grass, the, the house, the whites of the furniture, the browns of the fence, everything is with this sort of contrast. I think it actually works you know, a lot better. Um, anything else in the backyard of use? Doesn't seem so. Okay. Then I guess we'll we'll head out back. I wonder. Can we turn? Is the flashlight on? And is it something we can? Oh, we can turn it off. What does that look like? Oh, that looks really dark. That's really dark. I can hardly see. Not like I can see a whole lot better this way, but definitely better. Let's take a look at the map and make sure we're going the right way. So we can go left here. See if we find anything. Oh. I hear a swoop and swiper and a doggo and another doggo. Oh, man. All right, so I think we're going the right direction. Yeah, so we're gonna go this way and eventually turn left when we can. Man, this this noise, the sound of the enemies, it's just not dying down. Anything with that car? I'd, I'd much rather just wait until it's light out again to explore all of this. Oh, wow. They're getting real aggressive. Oh my, I didn't even see that there. We're almost at the elementary school. I'm kind of sticking to the curb so that I can at least judge that I'm going in the, in the right direction. Looks like there are more and more cars as we're getting close to the school. The question is, you know, I'm, I'm obviously kind of making a dash to the school. I think it's on my right right now. Yeah, it is. Is it worth exploring the rest of the map right now? Or is there going to be a time later in the game where I'll be able to do so in the light or something like that, where it'll probably be a lot easier to see where I'm going, um, what I'm potentially missing, items I could I could pick up. I, I feel like that's the case. I don't think the game would, would make it that difficult. All right, so to the school we go. Ah. Oh. We run into the wall. Oh man, <laughs> did you see that, guys? 
I, I clicked on the door, clicked on the door, I opened the door as those two dogs were just about to pounce on me. Oh man. And suddenly it's quiet again. We've got the flashlight on. What's this on the wall? Oh man. Would you look at this? What is this over here? There's a school map. Okay. Are we in the lobby right now? There's a clock tower. Shout out to classic horror. Classroom, classroom, hall, two teachers rooms, a storage room, and ooh, multiple floors. Anything else of, of use over here? There's probably some stuff we could find, honestly, if we, uh, is that something up there? No. There's probably stuff we could find out there if we were to run around that might be useful here. But when I look at our inventory, right, I've got a hundred something bullets and we've got seven health drinks, two first aid kits. I think, I think we're doing all right here. So what's this on the wall? Does this say something? Is it something we can read? No. Okay. Well, I'm pretty excited, guys. I think we're going to explore the school, though, in the next episode. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was probably a little bit more progress than, than the very first episode, so maybe that was nice. Maybe this, you know, darkness and uh, the contrast it makes things a little bit more lively to look at, too. I definitely liked getting to explore more and actually, you know, achieve some of those those goals of finding the different items, unlocking the doors, and get a better feel for how this game is working, right? It is leaving clues. I just need to be a little bit more observant. I need to really inspect uh, what I can, and I'm getting a better feel for what stands out, what types of items I can interact with, and what types of hints I should be looking for as I'm going through the game. I'm really excited. I feel like the very beginning of the game, it's a little bit creepy, you know, I guess, but it's not really scary. Now that we're in the dark, now that we have this flashlight, now that we have this limited visibility, now that we have these more ominous soundtracks, I think we're actually getting into uh, the good stuff. So, anyways, I'll see you guys next episode, but until then, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.